Hi peeps, welcome back to Mental Health Naps. My name is Kaisa, and this is where we talk about mental health, sleep apnea, my musings through smiles, not tears, and we do this by focusing in on one word and my definition or its given definition. Anyway, we use it to focus our conversation. And today the word is actually crossroad. You know, like when you come to like a four-way stop or to a fork in the road where you have to make the decision as to which way you're going to go. I was walking around the grounds on Krabrup Castle in southern Sweden and the grounds are pretty extensive and it was just a beautiful day and I really like just going around and taking pictures. If you notice with this particular image there is actually nothing too special about it. There are no real pretty flowers or anything else. It's just a place where the path on the grounds divides. And the reason why I took this picture is because I felt like oftentimes when it comes to making a decision, sometimes, you know, there could be more than two options, but it doesn't come with a sign as to which decision or which option you should pick. And there was no sign here on the grounds telling me if I wanted to go left or right. And the destination is covered by this big plant bush thing. I apologize, I'm not a plant girl, so I can't tell you exactly what it is. I realized that in life, how many decisions we are actually faced with. We're faced with a ton. They don't come with an instruction manual. They don't come with a receipt as to where it's gonna take you or what's gonna happen. You just have to, you know, pick one. I really loved this image because there's a bench sat in between the two options. And I think a lot of times, this happens for me, that I actually forget that I always have this other option. I think the options that I have are just the ones that I see right in front of me. But in all reality, I have the option to sit down on my mental bench or this bench <laughs> and take a second to breathe, to weigh the pros and cons, to do the exercise of fooling myself to pick one side and seeing what my reaction is. And if I, it's not satisfactory, doing the same thing with the other side or draw a mind map, whatever exercise you do to make a decision, this bench represents an opportunity for you to practice that particular exercise. And I feel like for myself, like when it comes to making decisions, I am very much, a, I want it to be on my own terms. I want it to be from me. And I feel like when you're dealing with a mental illness such as depression and anxiety, those particular mental health issues, they come with their own set of thoughts. And sometimes I feel like it's very annoying because you have to like kind of strip them away to get to your authentic thought. And this feeds into the whole thing of you are you and you're not your mental health problems or your mental illness. You're not. That's something happening to you. You know, because when it comes to making decision, my depression makes me paralyzed because it doesn't want to make the wrong decision. My anxiety is going 100 miles a minute because it's trying to think of the, all the pros and cons all at once and freaking out about making the wrong choice. And then the ADHD is just coming up with a 10 extra side projects that I want to do and opening all the tabs up in my brain. That can be very overwhelming. But I want this bench in the crossroads to represent a chance of mental peace and taking a mental time out to sort through the choices that are before you, which I think is really an important skill to learn for anybody and everybody. But most especially, it's an important thing to do if you struggle with mental health health issues. You need more time and that is okay. Your pace is your pace and your pace should not be measured by somebody else's standards. You sit on that bench. Don't let the decision paralyze you. Make your time at that bench productive, but allow yourself to sit there and not just chase your tail in circles trying to figure out which decision to make. I know for me, an example is when I chose to move from Utah to Oregon. I had people in both camps. I had a nice job in Utah. I had living. I had everything I needed. But Oregon is home. Oregon is where all my doctors are, like, that I am more comfortable with. Oregon's where my family is, you know. And I took two months 
to make the decision to finally make the move. And I had some people saying, just decide already. We want a plan. We want to know what you're doing. But I think in that example, that is the, ex the perfect example for my life that I can think of right now where I had to take a second and sit on that bench. Sit on that bench. Weigh my pros and cons. Make a decision that felt good for me, that was right for me, that needed extra time to bake in my mental oven. So just keep that in mind when you're making decisions. There's always another one to sit and to just look. Take a break, get some ice cream, get your favorite snack, watch a comfort movie, do something, relax, it's gonna be okay. Just realize stressing yourself out about it is not gonna make you decide faster or better. It's just not. And to be honest, I found myself in the past that when I would try to just move, force a decision or move super quick through a decision, I would do one or two things. I would one, miss out on the actual opportunity I wanted because I picked the wrong thing, or two, I wasn't able to fully enjoy the benefits of the option that I actually did pick because it was so hurried and I didn't have a chance to catch it all. All in all, moral of the story, take your time. Set up your mental bench. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and that's really all I have to say about Crossroads today and until the next one, have a nice nap.